My name is Kevin Jackson. Uh, thank you for coming to my presentation. And I will be talking about reducing the global climate. So the global climate is something people have started to be worried about since around the 1970s. Uh, they're scared that this global warming and is destroying our ozone layer. And uh, to stop this destruction of the ozone layer that's letting all this extra sunlight in and raising our temperature, that we're we are making too much greenhouse gases and all the pollution in the air is too much and our future temperatures are going to keep rising. So in 1973, there was a Clean Air Act passed. It was, this was passed to try to protect people from you know, the dangerous rising climate and lower pollution, to get people, lower, people and companies to lower pollution so that it wouldn't destroy the ozone layer as much and we, would have, we wouldn't have such a rise in our climate and the environment wouldn't be so bad. And it requires the EPA to regulate emissions of pollutions that endanger public health and welfare. So like companies and you know, big firms that produce a lot of pollution they're requiring them to limit that pollution to a lesser amount so it wouldn't be so much pollution in the air because there's so much already. Um, thanks to this, thanks to the Clean Air Act, it prevented more than 40,000 premature deaths. And it cut ground level ozone by more than 25%. So in the general economic perspective, there was a goal that was set a while ago for the future temperature for a future temperature rise to only be two degrees Celsius. But for something like that to happen, emissions would have had to peak in the year 2050 <coughs> and reach zero soon after the year 2050. And that's obvious it's not gonna happen anytime soon because there's already it's so much in the air now. So but we could get close or somewhere near 2 degrees Celsius because it would, that, but that would require extremely radical reduce, reduction in emissions. Um, it would require people to really not like, bubble down and the EPA to concentrate on the firms and make them really stop pollution. So there are a lot of things people can do to help to lower the emissions. They could by Energy Star products, these are products that were proven by the EPA to lower reception, like low energy light saving light bulbs and stuff like that. And um, it's also good to have heating and cooling equipment in your house or anywhere in your car checked by a licensed contractor. Because if it's unregulated, then it could possibly let off too much emission and it would be more just more pollution in the air gas and stuff and also when you're like searching for a car like I know it's hard to find you know fuel efficient cars that aren't like the size of a box but if you can get a like a fuel efficient car that still meets all your needs and stuff then that'd be good if you could really reduce pollution and that's it.